Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at top five expert certifications in IT. At number five, we have AWS Solutions Architect Professional. I have listed this certification with other expert level certifications due to two reasons. Number one, AWS doesn't have an expert level certification in this track yet. Number two, this is currently most respected certification in the cloud computing. At this moment in time, AWS Solution Architect Professional is the top most paid certification in the cloud computing. We are going to use a scorecard system to rate these certifications. We are going to look at four different areas to rate the certification. First one is going to be the exam difficulty level. Second is what you learn during the study of this track. Third is the respect certification has in its own relevant industry. And finally, monetary reward one gets from being certified. AWS, in my view, scores in terms of exam difficulty 5 out of 10. And in educational value, it scores 6 out of 10. Respect with the cloud computing industry is high, so it's going to get 8 out of 10. And in terms of monetary benefit of being AWS certified is like CCIE in year 2000. So it gets 9 out of 10 for that. Therefore, AWS Solution Architect holds the rank five in the top five certifications. At number four, CISSP, Certified Information System Security Professional. It's a certification from ISC2. The organization is a non-profit organization which specializes in training and certification for security professionals. This certification is the most globally recognized when it comes to uh, certification in the information security market. Basically, CISSP validates information security professionals' uh, deep technical and managerial knowledge about things like uh, effective design, um, how to manage an overall security posture of an organization. Next, let's take a look at the scorecard system for the certification. First of all, the exam difficulty level is moderate to high, so I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. In terms of educational value of, of the certification in the information security, it's a moderate to high level. The value of the certification in the information security is, is high, and so we're going to give it an 8 out of 10. And in terms of monetary value, it is uh, above average and towards the high end. So we're going to give it a 7 out of 10. So in terms of rating, CISSP stands at number 4 as a top IT certifications in the IT industry. Next is Juniper Networks. JNCIE. Juniper Networks Certified Internet Expert. This certification is at the top of Juniper Networks certification tracks. It is a one day lab exam. The exam is designed to validate networking professionals' ability to implement, troubleshoot, maintain Juniper Networks. It's an eight hour format and it's an intense exam requires candidates to build and troubleshoot. Uh, Juniper Networks, which is which consists of multiple routers um, in the topology. Next, take a look at the scorecard for JNCIE. In terms of difficulty level, it's high, so we're going to give it an 8 out of 10. In terms of educational value that you get while you preparing for the certification, it's very, very high, so I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Value within the network industry. Um, of this certification is moderate to high, so we're going to give it 7 out of 10. 
and finally the monetary value it's high as well it's from medium to high so we're gonna give it a 6 out of 10 so in the overall rating of certifications in our rating JNCIE takes the slot number 3 in the top expert certifications next at number 2 VMware certified design expert in data center virtualization VMware Certified Design Expert is the highest level of VMware certification. Uh, this certification will take professionals to level of design architect that is highly skilled in VMware enterprise and data center networks. VMware's share in the market of uh, data center virtualization is big. Therefore, we rate this certification at number two. Let's take a look at the scorecard for VCDX DCV. Difficulty level for the exam is very high in terms of the technologies you have to learn to pass this exam. So we're going to rate at 9 out of 10. Educational value of the certification in the data center market is also high. So we're going to get 8 out of 10. Value in the industry is also high. So we're going to give it an 8 out of 10. And finally, the monetary value of the certification is also towards the high ends and that gets 8 out of 10. And VMware's VCDX DCV takes number two slot in the top certifications. And on the top of the list, the greatest ever Cisco certified internetwork expert. CCI was introduced more than 20 years ago to the industry to distinguish the top elite of designs and network expert worldwide. And since then, I don't think it's changed a lot and you know it's a no longer the focus of uh, routing and switching but it has now many other different tracks covering various technologies ccie certification holders represent less than one percent of the networking professionals worldwide so let's take a look at the scorecard in terms of uh, difficulty level we're gonna give it a 9 out of 10 just because the the one day lab exam is not one of the easiest in the world educational values that you get out of the certification the technologies that you learn during the preparation of the labs uh, that value is immense uh, so it's gonna get 9 out of 10 in this section as well it still holds a value in the industry despite all the changes that have happened over the last 20 years so in terms of value, we're going to give it a 9 out of 10. Monetary reward you can still get out of um, a CCA, being a CCIE is still high and, and we're going to give it an 8 out of 10 for that. I know what everyone is shouting right now. Come on, CCIE is not the same certification anymore. World is changing and everything is moving towards clouds. I've been hearing all this since CCIE was started more than 20 years ago. I believe CCIE is still industry's number one certification, mainly due to its uh, structured approach towards education and still is at the top of the Hall of Fame in year 2020. Finally, let's take a look at the leaderboard one final time. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, give it a rating and give your feedback. Thank you.